Welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Rudolf Okonkwo. In our effort to bring you all the angles to the story of uh, Mr. Kashamu, we are now going to talk to the head public affairs of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Mr. Michel of Four Yeju. Mr. Four Yeju, welcome to Sahara TV. Thank you so much. So um, we spoke to the attorney and the media aide to Mr. Kachamu, and we have some questions that are not very clear to us. The first one is, who authorized the operation that took place today uh, at the home of Mr. Kachamu? OK, thank you very much. Uh, let me place on record that uh, the operation that took place today is sequel to a formal request for extradition received from the Embassy of the United States of America. And uh, the NDLA, which is the body that is in charge of uh, narcotic control in Nigeria, is a signatory to that uh, treaty. And we have the the powers to commence procedures, and that was exactly what happened. Mm. Okay. Now, the question then, then is, who was informed? Are you required to inform the Attorney General, uh, the President, or who, were, who do you have to inform before you make this move? NDA statutorily is empowered to carry out such functions. And uh, I was surprised that uh, they were raising issues of uh, we didn't have a warrant uh, who authorized that uh, operation. There is no basis for that. The law establishing the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency confers such powers on the agency. We do not need uh, a warrant of arrest to go into any premises that uh, we that is suspicious. Uh, we have reasonable cause to believe that they are dealing in narcotics. So we acted within the ambit of the law. Now, the attorney for Kashamu said that there were a long-standing uh, court order saying that nothing should change from the status quo. Uh, is this a uh, request for extradition over, over, uh, um, more, more powerful, or is it overriding that court order? Uh, I'm not aware of any court order, but I think uh, if anybody has a case to answer, it is proper for the person to uh, face the due process of the law, particularly when there are treaties, you know, signed by both countries to that effect. So there is nothing strange about uh, his, his extradition. It's okay. in line with the law, and uh, uh, we, we are taking every measure to ensure that uh, his rights are being protected. Now, right from the time we, we went to his house, he has access to his attorneys, he has access to, you know, uh, movement within his, uh, his premises. So uh, we're, just, we're just doing what the law requires. Mm. Now, with, uh, with, 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 with respect to his fundamental human rights. Mm. Okay, so how did you end up having this deal where he is now on house arrest? What was the intention when you, your agents stormed the building at uh, 4.30 a.m. in the morning? Was it to take him from his house to where? And how did you end up leaving him there until Monday? The, the, the intention is to get him appear in court on Monday. So were you afraid that he won't come if you just tell him to show up in court on Monday? Uh, we, we just wanted to be double sure that uh, he will be in court on Monday. Okay. So from on Monday, what court is he going to, and what will be the court be deciding? Uh, is that the federal high court at uh, 
And the court will be deciding what? His extradition order or uh, request from the United States? Yes, the principal is uh, just to uh, give a formal, uh, you know, ratification to the extradition procedure. So is there any chance that he will be returned home after the court's hearing on Monday? Of course. Whatever the court says uh, will be strictly adhered to by the NDLA. We have uh, a record of, uh, you know, obeying court orders. We don't uh, violate court orders. So whatever the court says on Monday uh, shall be strictly adhered to by the NDLA. And we have assured him that, including uh, his attorneys. Mm. Now, if the court should say that he should be extradited to the United States, could he go from there to the airport? No, no, no. I think the, uh, there are provisions within the law that, uh, you know, entitles him to uh, maybe one or two um, preparations. Mm. Now, so, so whatever privileges the law, you know, uh, confirm on him will be, will be allowed. Now, would you mind telling us when did the request come from the, um, the request you got from the United States, when did you get it? Uh, I don't have uh, the details of when the report came, but I would just like to place on record that we have a former report requesting uh, in the respect of uh, charges against him. Mm. And let me also state that uh, Katamu has, you know, has been wanted to stand trial on charges of conspiracy and importation of controlled substances, particularly in heroin, into the United States, dating back to 1994. You know, uh, we are aware too that uh, we are also taking multiple preemptive uh, actions to thwart his uh, tradition to the U.S. Mm. For instance, uh, he has he has approached, uh, you know, a federal court in the Northern District of uh, Illinois, United States, and in Nigeria to prevent his arrest and uh, subsequent prosecution. So we see that if you have a case to 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 answer, you should be uh, allowed to, you know, go and clear yourself of whatever accusations being leveled against you. A clear conscience should fear no accusation. So United States and Nigeria, they are countries that have respect for, you know, the rule of law. So why is he uh, uh, scared of uh, uh, maybe fear of the unknown? Mm. Now, his lawyer characterized what your agency tried to do this morning as an abduction. Uh, do you agree that it was an attempt to abduct him? <laughs> well, the agency is too uh, enlightened, you know, to get himself involved in uh, uh, such uh, a criminal act. Abduction is a criminal act. We mm. don't do that. We go to his house, we announce our presence, identified ourselves, you know, but it took a lot of uh, persuasion for him to, you know, open the door. So if we want to adopt, uh, he could have, you know, been uh, adopted. So it is not an issue of uh, adoption. We went with uh, a, a complete team of uh, our operatives, you know, we had access to him, we discussed with him. Whatever we did was in, the, was in his presence and that of his attorney. So if we had wanted to abduct him, we can easily take him away. Mm. 
Now we we uh, we understand. You know, giving him that. Yes. Go ahead. We understand that um, you took his phones away from him as part of the agreement on his uh, house arrest. Why, do, why is that important? Uh, you see, the issue of uh, phones, you know, is also part of our own investigation. So uh, there is no big deal about it. Okay. Now, um, he told our correspondent uh, that he uh, will, is threatening to kill himself. His attorney actually said to us that he will not be taken to the United States alive. Are you concerned about such statements from, from him? I think we shouldn't uh, be misled by whatever antics, you know, we are trying to put up. There is no, uh, absolutely, no room for such uh, you know, dra drama. What is important is uh, we have placed him under house arrest. He has the right to interact with his uh, family members and his attorneys. Then he will just need to appear in court to kickstart the formal uh, process of uh, extradition, that's all. So is there any chance that on Friday he will be sworn in as a senator for the uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria? If, if the court says so, you know, understand that we are, we are acting within the ambit of the law. Whatever the court says on Monday, you know, shall be acceptable to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. Mm. Now, most of our viewers... We, are not, we, 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 we have nothing against his uh, elections. He has, he has been declared as winner of uh, the senatorial uh, seat, and he has been given a certificate of return. We have no problem with that. The mm. issue is, does he have a case to answer a pending case? So those are the fundamental questions that, uh, you know, should uh, really be, be, be placed at the front burner. Does he have a question to answer? If, it, if the answer is yes, then let him face it. Mm. Now, the other question that most of our viewers uh, had was, um, why now? Why did your agency move in now? If, if this has been pending for a while, why did you move in now? There could have been a better time. Why is this time yeah, the oh, best time? Yeah. Yeah, it, it all depends on the investigation. You know, when you are carrying out investigation and the, the the, the investigation report suggests that uh, it is suitable for an operation to take place then uh, after all the factors have been considered, you know, mm. so going back on the recommendations of the investigator. So that is it. Anywhere in the world, operations are carried out when it is most expedient. Okay, so uh, finally, what will happen on Monday? Uh, is he going to be taken in in your vehicle and driven to the courts, or is he going to drive in in his own vehicle? What is the arrangement? Well, uh, if he wants to come in our vehicle, no problem. If he wishes to drive in his own vehicle, no problem. So we'll allow him. He has, he has, uh, he has the choice. Mm. But the, the the choice is strictly his. Mm. If he wishes to drive in his own vehicle, we don't have any query with that. Mm. You see, the I think the attorneys must be very frank when dealing with you that uh, uh, NDNA has actually demonstrated high respect for his fundamental human right. I think they should say that they should place it on record mm. that we have we have respected his fundamental human right. 
Okay. So you are agents are in the house. Um, do you allow people to go in and get come out of the house, or is is are you blocking people from going in to see him? So people, uh, whoever wants to go in to see him is free to go. Okay. It's free to go. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Mr. Michel uh, for Yeju, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That has been the head public affairs for the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, talking about the operation of his agency today at the home of the senator-elect, Mr. Kashamu, in Lagos. We'll be right back.